Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick video review of a new pen that's out. Um, a lot of you are probably receiving it in the mail or may have already received it. Um, it's the Pilot Custom 743 and it's the green. I um, want to do a quick little video, show you guys what's in the box, what it comes with, how it writes. This is the cartridge that comes with it. Um, it also comes with a user and care guide and uh, some warranty information and then it comes with this little silk thing um, insert that's like an insert wrapped with a satin or like a silk and then it comes with a bottle of Pilot Blue ink uh, 70 mils and then of course the pen so um, the one that I have here is a broad. I don't think that the pen is very green. Uh, they call it, uh, it's verdigray or verdigree, however you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. Um, but it, it does remind me a little bit more of like a teal or a jade, um, in my opinion. But it's a beautiful pen, regardless of what color it is. Uh, I just don't consider it green green, of course. You know, it's not green like um, grass. <laughs> but um, it's, it's definitely beautiful. The body is the same body as a Pilot Custom 823, if you're familiar with that pen at all. And the biggest difference in that one and this one is that the 823 is a vac filler. Uh, so it fills by pulling up, unscrewing this back part and pulling it up. Uh, this one does not unscrew. It is actually a cartridge converter, which is why it came with the little cartridge. So um, when you unscrew this, it comes with, I think this is the Con 70 uh, cartridge converter. And you just fill it up with ink. Um, I don't really like this converter that much. I have trouble getting it to fill with it. I probably need to watch some videos and see if maybe anyone has some tips on doing it. But um, for me personally, I've gotten by with just doing it with a, a blunt tip uh, syringe. Just filling this part up and then popping it on the pin. That's how I filled it. Um, I do that a lot of times anyway because I'm very picky about putting the pin. I know that's what it's intended for, but I don't really like putting it down in the ink bottle. Um, because I'm always afraid that there's going to be ink that's going to slip between. There's like a collar right here. It's It happens a lot on Kaweco Sports. If you are somebody who's ever had any of those. Uh, particular like the frosted coconut. Um, one time I dipped it in ink and tried to fill it that way. And it actually got ink like around between the collar. of I guess like the nib housing and then this part. Um, and you could see it, and it just really got on my nerves. That may not be a, a problem for this pen. I don't know. Um, if it did get between it, you likely wouldn't be able to see it because it's not really uh, translucent. But at the same time, um, it's, the syringe feeling just works for me. So that's, it's just what I've done. Um, I got it in a broad. So I'll do a quick writing sample. Uh, the ink that's in it right now is a uh, Noodler's Turquoise. I think that's what it's called. It used to be Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, but they um, have kind of rebranded or changed a lot of the names. So I think that they just changed it to Noodler's Turquoise. Um, but you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that because I really just don't remember all the names of all the inks and what they got switched to so I apologize if it's incorrect but um, I think it writes really really good in it I didn't really try to like match the pen with the ink because I'm just not that person um, I don't really care if my uh, pens match the ink or the ink matches the pen it's not really a big deal for me so um, I just inked it up with this because it's a good ink and it usually has a pretty good flow and uh, so far in this pen, 
I really do like it. It writes good. Now the notepad that I'm writing on um, is a MD paper product. So I think it's also known as Midori um, paper products. And uh, I picked this little pad up from Jet Pins. It's got like a little notch out of the corner. And uh, you kind of lift it up and tear it from this side and this side has glue. And it's a nice little pad um, just to test inks and stuff on. Sometimes I write pen pals with it. But um, yeah, the pen is a lot like an 823 as far as the body. It's exactly the same. The nib size and everything is, sa is the same. Uh, it's the number 15 Pilot nib. The only difference is just the way that it feels. That's the only difference. And um, all the accents on it, as you can see, are gold. The nib itself is gold as well. Um, and, I mean, that's that's really all I can say about it. it. It writes very smooth out of the box. It didn't need any tuning or anything like that. Um, it just writes perfect. But if you're someone who maybe has purchased an 823 and maybe you got rid of it because you just didn't like it, um, because you, you don't like vac fillers, then this might be a, a good alternative for you because this does come uh, in a black. The black has been available for quite a while from, from my knowledge, um, but this one is just kind of a newly released color um, that they have that's strictly available for North America for the U.S., so, I don't know if you would be able to get this if you're in a different country. Um, it's possible, but you probably have to order it from a United States retailer to get it, I'm sure. Um, but right now, a lot of places are out of stock on it. So, uh, But I'm sure that they will eventually restock it. But yeah, it's a, it's a great pen. I just kind of wanted to do a, a quick writing sample and just kind of show you guys what it looks like on camera. It may be... <sighs> Yeah, it could look different in a lot of different lights is the problem because the pen is just it's just one of those types of colors uh, to me it looks a lot like a jade or like a really really deep uh, green like a turquoise that leans more green if that makes sense because um, there's turquoise stones that in my opinion kind of almost look like a really bright blue like this right here um, or like a robin's egg blue almost. And there's the ones that have like a little bit more of a darker pigment. So they almost lean a little bit blue, green, or teal. And I feel like that's this pen. The band that goes around this part uh, where it's gold. And it has this little spot that's between this gold band and this gold band. Is really unique too because it's like it has some of the darker colors. But then it also has like a lighter uh, which is really unique and really pretty. But it has the standard pilot little ball clip. Um, and, you know, nothing nothing particularly fancy other than the fact that it just has a superb nib and writes really good. So if you um, are looking for a good pilot pen that's comfortable to write with, but you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more on the higher end, like you're wanting to get into gold nibs. A lot of people start at like the Pilot Vanishing Point because it's a really reasonable price. Some people go with uh, the Pilot Custom 74. And it's also a really good uh, pen if you're trying to get into gold nibs. Um, if you have those and maybe you're looking for something a little bit more, um, or you're just a really big fan of Pilot nibs, um, then this might be a good alternative if you just don't like vac fillers. Um, a lot of people like the 823 vac fill because it holds so much ink and because they can kind of, you know, close that um, off and prevent leakage and stuff like that on planes. I'm not really a big person that goes on planes. So I don't worry about that. Um, that's not a concern for me. And I just don't really care for the vac fill uh, that much. Um, I've had two different ones, the Twisby Iris and then the 823, and I parted ways with both of them. Um, I just felt them very cumbersome to clean. Um, but I'm also a person that does like to change inks fairly frequently. I don't really 
have like a set of, you know, five or ten favorite inks that I switch between, I just kind of go where the road takes me. So if you're someone who likes to switch inks a lot, you might find that the vac fills are a little bit hard to clean. Um, or that sometimes there might be like residual ink color um, that could also cause some OCD issues if you're like me. I typically like to make sure that the, that the pen is thoroughly cleaned and sometimes it just felt like there was residual ink that would get like back behind the, the plunger and um, it would drive me crazy um, because the Pilot A23 is not really a pen that you just want to go taking apart and putting back together once a month. Um, there's a lot of people that have done stuff like that and the body's cracked and stuff, unfortunately. So it's, it's not, it's just a little bit nerve wracking for me because it's such an expensive pen. So I decided it was best to just part ways with it. And I'm really glad that they started offering the 743. Um, just because I really liked the body of the 823. It's very comfortable in the hand to write with for long writing sessions. It's a larger pen, which I find more comfortable, but it's not heavy. Um, so if you're looking for something like that and you're wanting uh, a gold nib that writes really, really well, this would definitely be a good option. My husband actually got... Um, the same pen, he got it in a double broad and it is very juicy. So if the broad is something that you're like, oh, well, that looks pretty good, but I think I like my pens a little bit more broad or a little bit more juicy, then go for the double broad when they have it available. Um, he's kind enough to let me sneak it in and do a little test with it so you can just kind of see. This one is inked up with uh, Waterman. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Water, oh, I spelt it wrong. I got so excited. <laughs> Inspired Blue. And this is BB for Double Broad. So you can see it's, it's definitely really, really juicy. Um, it is a very wet rider, very smooth. Um, I don't really like this paper that well. I will, I will point that out. Um, I prefer paper like the Tamoya River. Unfortunately, uh, it's going through some changes, but that used to be my go-to and I really like the Cosmo light paper. Um, this paper, I feel like it, you may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's like some little spots here where it just, the writing is uneven. Um, I know it's not this pen because the pen is perfect. We've, we've tested it on, uh, a lot of different ones. That's my husband's name. But yeah, it's just, it's definitely the paper. Um, I might have some Tamoy River that I can also show you just to give you a little bit of a better example that is going to be wet but I don't I don't care it'll be, it'll be fine so we'll just put pilot custom 743 double broad and hopefully it's showing up on the camera um, just how great the nib is and how juicy it is I mean it's definitely a broader line like I'll do uh, just a couple of straight lines and then we'll do some X's and a couple of the figure eights and what I'll do is return that back to my husband and I will take my pen and we will do a quick line comparison. So there's my pen and his. So you can see the top is mine, this one's his, this one is his, and this one is mine. You can just kind of see the line variation. So double broad is definitely a lot more uh, broad and a lot more wet than the broad. Now the broad is very juicy as well. It's just that the line variation, you can definitely tell it is a lot smaller. Um, this is definitely 
a wider um, nib. So if you're looking for something that's going to like showcase shade um, or that you just really love wet riders and juicy pins, um, then you might want to try to go with a double broad. If you like kind of in between that overly juicy pin and the medium, then I feel like the broad's probably going to be the way to go. Um, so that's the two that we have, but there's definitely a lot of nib sizes out there. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this one is offered in the extra fine all the way up to the double broad and maybe a falcon nib. But I may be wrong about that. So don't don't get mad if it's not right. Because I may not be correct. But I, it seems like I remember it being offered all the way up to that. So um, anyway, I will let you guys go. I don't want to go on rambling more than I have. But I just wanted to kind of do a quick um, video for you guys to see the pin on film. Just to get an idea of what it looks like. Um, there's been a couple of people that have done some shorts and stuff of it and retailers, but I just wanted to get it, uh, open on the paper and show you guys what it looks like on camera. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.